Tobin Fisher of Vantage Robotics says he's built the world's safest aerial photography drone. Safe enough to fly around kids, safe enough to crash without hurting someone, and safe enough to do this without worrying about chopping a finger off. And tilt to the right. Safety can be subjective. So we met Tobin in Golden Gate Park, where I, an inexperienced pilot, could test it out. Last time I flew a drone, this happened. Whoa. What we wanted to do was democratize aerial video, and make it possible for anyone to have it with them anytime. The biggest impediment to accessibility we saw is don't make it cut you. Statistics on how many accidents are caused by consumer drones aren't readily available, but there's plenty of anecdotal evidence. Remember Enrique Iglesias' recent onstage injury? We're in this amazing time right now, people flying drones everywhere around people, uh, and they're like big flying lawnmowers. To make his flying lawnmower safer, Tobin added extra protection to the propellers and is focused on making it small and light. And he set out to solve one important question. When a drone crashes, and yes, even his drone crashes, and we're done. how can you make it as harmless as possible? We basically took a trick from F1 race cars and created a magnetic snap together architecture that lets the entire assembly break apart on impact. It makes it both less likely to hurt this and less likely to hurt any one. The final piece of the safety puzzle, he says, is making it easy to fly, which is where I come in. Flying the snap is as easy as playing any iPhone game. Look at that. It works really well. Wow. Usually, drone controls require you to use both thumbs on a big controller, going in opposite directions just to keep the thing in the air. With the snap, you tilt your phone to the right, and it goes right. You tilt it toward you, and it comes toward you. It's simple. This is still a prototype, so there's going to be some modifications before it's released for around $1,000 next spring. Like the alarming sound it makes when you turn it on. That is actually, the, that's the everything is okay alarm. <laughs> that sound will definitely uh, be improved to be a little bit more cheery. But Tobin says even with eight months to go before it hits the market, the drone is already safer than most. But that doesn't mean it's idiot proof. Until you make something that is either not heavier than air, or has years and years of reliability behind it to show that it will never ever fall, people need to be responsible.